Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I got this on my other shit. My bad, my bad. Hold on. Um, what's good with y'all, chat? I want to start off first and foremost and just get this off top. Grand Wizard, we're not doing none of that. We don't get straight to it. I, I, listen, let me tell you this. Yeah, I'm going to just say straight up. College kid, one of y'all already out of here. The other one, right, he was trying, was trying to violate you. You're going through a, a morning and shit like that. But I'm telling you right now, you see where your brother has has went to? That's the only way, that's the only place you're going to go to if you're still overdosing on hate. Your brother didn't die of COVID. He overdosed on hate. That's a fact. I know this. Go check with all the medical examiners. Cause of death, overdosed on hate. I was willing to let it go. I got my little joint off. Y'all was going at me for years. Y'all tried to stop my business. Y'all tried to snitch on me. Y'all claim me I was like, y'all tried to do everything. Couldn't stop me. It's all good. I was willing to let it go. Y'all call COVID. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. I wouldn't wish. And actually, it's not that serious that you want somebody to pass away. But you guys went through a tough period recently, and one of y'all did pass away, with, which, if you don't know, is two brothers, like twins or something. And I was willing to say, you know what? Despite what y'all have done to me, and I always have to remind people what y'all have done to me because nobody watches y'all, so they only see... What I say, they never see what y'all do. Y'all try to start a campaign. Y'all try to hit up Spotify. Y'all see Spotify? You sat in rocking with Joe Rogan? <laughs> you think that was about listening to college kid, my nigga? <laughs> if you think you mad at academics with Spotify, give me a month. You're going to be madder. Actually, well, give me a week. You're going to be madder. And then give me a month. You probably... You might just kill yourself. Don't do it, though. Anyway, love Spotify. Um, here's the point I was trying to make. If somebody attacked, all, attacked the way you made an income, attacked everything about you, they try to buy your domain name, that's your name, they didn't want you to exist. They try to spread lies about you. They were attacking your integrity and your brand. If they fell to unfortunate circumstances, you would not say or you would not feel any empathy this is what these guys did to me for years for years why were they mad at me all because people they 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 covered chicago before me but everybody preferred me it's one of the cases of it's not who did it first it's who did it better now, they might argue what's better in whatever the case is, but their vitriol and, and the fucking hatred with them. And let me just get straight to it. Um, One of these guys is, is in the dirt. That's a fact. Rayshon Autry, half of the College Kid Brothers, he died. He died after overdosing on hate. That's it. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I got to be honest with y'all. He ain't died of COVID. The nigga, instead of going to doctor's appointment... Instead of focus on his health, instead of focus on family, instead of focus on anything good, his last moments in life was sending out tweets hating on academics. I'm sorry to tell y'all that. The last five breaths he took, I was on his mind. It's very unfortunate. I got to keep it 100 with y'all because nobody want to talk about it. Go look at his tweets. His last tweet. It's saying, fuck you, Ack. It's like the Grim Reaper is like knocking on his door and he's like, nah, hold up. Let me get this off. Fuck you, Ack. And the Grim Reaper just kicked that shit down and said, come on, man, you're going with us. The last thing, his legacy, the legacy of college kid is nothing but a bunch of losers trying to hate on academics. Now, for the people who might be watching this on YouTube later, because I can't address only the live audience. All my real niggas is in here, so they know what's up. I implore you to watch my other videos about these guys. I ignored them for multiple years. But for eight years, probably about ten. Because I did Warren Chirac starting around like 2012. Obsession. 
Now, again, one of them passed away. I'm willing to let it go. It's fucking, bruh. Like, literally, I was about to, no cap, I was about to offer the money to bury these dudes. Like, I'm sorry, like, not on some weird shit. Like, just like, yeah, if y'all need money to cover the funeral, I got y'all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bruh, I've never had problems with y'all. Like, we're all black men. Why are we beefing? We're media niggas. We're not like Chief Keith and like, like Lil J. I'm trying to help these guys out. So I'm thinking, you know what? They were both hospitalized. Even though the last moments, I just want to emp. Yo, the legacy of the guy who died, his name is Rayshon Autry, was that he was trying to spread a false rumor that I was a pedophile. That's that's the only thing he will ever be remembered for in life. A million years from now, if his name is ever Googled, be like Rayshon Autry. The hater who spread a false lie about academics trying to say he was a pedophile. He died after he overdosed on hate. Now, as I said, I was down and let it go. The surviving brother, Richard Autry, from what I heard, he didn't even make it to the funeral. He was in the hospital as well, battling COVID, or what they call COVID. It was really hate. It was hate-19, not COVID-19. And, again, uh, bro, like, you know what I mean? Bro, they're going through much serious things. I would think they would let this shit go. I'm not, whatever. Now, funny enough, and this is how not petty I am, bro, somebody went to, like, the funeral of the dude. Bro, they took mad pictures and sent it. I'm like, well, I'm good. I don't want that. So, they, a, a nigga who, uh, he's trying to say he's a chat nigga. Uh, I don't know. He had a whole photo shoot at the dude's funeral, sent it to me like, yo, act, end him. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is, it's a sacred moment. Let's not do it. But here's the thing, though. The other buffoon got out of the hospital. And rather than take heed, you know what he's back to doing? Hating on act. Let me pull this up for you. I couldn't believe it. I fucking couldn't believe it, Chad. I really couldn't believe this shit. I couldn't believe it, Chad. I just couldn't fucking believe it. Your brother's in the fucking dirt. He just overdosed on hate. And you know what this thing is doing? The same fucking thing. Let me read you this fucking tweet. Let me read you this fucking tweet, Chad. Look. Look at this shit right here. He, he, look, look, look. He responded to somebody. This is him right here. January 27th. Nah, my bro transitioned. Bro, he ain't transitioned. He died. He dead. He ain't transitioning. He's dead. If he transitioned, he transitioned to hater heaven. He's dead. So I put that shit with, oh, he transitioned. Oh, my God. He like, he's just like, he's in another form. No, nigga. He's in the academics hater heaven. There's a lot of people in there. <laughs> Yo, Chad, <laughs> name a few niggas who's in the academics hater heaven. There's <laughs> a lot of niggas in there. <laughs> that was hating from the get-go. <laughs> Told him how he's he transitioned. Transitioned to what? Transition to a spirit hater. Anyway, my bro transition a legend. I ain't gonna lie, his bro was a legend. A legendary fucking hater. Now, again, listen what he's saying. Y'all lost the battle. Y'all lost the war. Y'all lost everything. Why are y'all still going at ag? Look, my bro transitioned a legend. And with way more bread than your bitch ass will ever have. He's he's not talking to me clearly. You know what I mean? Again, I was about to pay for. I was trying to get that nigga a horse drawn carriage and shit like that. You know what I mean? I was trying to get him the works. Trying to get like you know what I mean? I was trying to get like a, a whole like government salute. Like yo, lower the flag. I was trying to do it all for you know, college kid. I gotta hold him down. They said they made Chicago, and I'm I just copied them. Fine. I'm down to admit whatever they want to say. Cool. But they gave him a basic funeral. It's cool. So he, it, they were responding to, to a fan. It's a fan. They say, yo, your man spent the last days beefing with Ak. Not the last days, the last minutes. The last minutes. If we really look at it, we could track the time. The day that nigga got rushed to the hospital was the day he was hating on me. I'm sorry to say. So let that sink in. Imagine being on your deathbed still talking shit about another man. Better keep his legacy up and keep this snacking up. No, 
yo, here's the thing. I've been trying to, yo, Rich, on some real shit. Rich, 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 Rich. We can cut all the bullshit. I never had a problem with you, bro. I never had a problem with college kid. I don't know what internal problem you have with me. We could have been squashed. We could have been talked as men. But you guys, it's not, it's not that we had a problem. You guys saw everything that I accomplished and thought it was me taken from y'all. You know why? Because y'all felt that my success was catapulted by the war in Chirac. And the war in Chirac came after y'all were covering Chicago. So y'all felt that I was winning in life off something that y'all should have won from. I'm sorry that y'all think that. Rich and, you know, Ray Sean. I don't know if I got to, like, spell it out. Y'all never had. We could add y'all talent up together and times it by a million. And y'all never had half the talent as is in my pinky toe. I'm sorry. Y'all can never compete. I'm sorry. Y'all can never compete. But y'all have been salty since then. And y'all don't realize you know, it's competition. You know, I just went in on, on the rappers that came out in 2017 or whatever. Bro, you know why? Because there's a new motherfucker who's making content, who's doing commentary every fucking day. And not because my name is Academics means that I, I, I'm just the best. I got to go out here and I got to put the work in. And you motherfuckers, because y'all thought y'all were first, y'all just wanted like everybody to suck y'all dick. Anyway, let me just read the, the full tweet. Now, my bro transitioned to legend and with way more bread than your bitch ass will ever have. They're talking to a fan. You wish you can have his legacy. Nobody worried about that. Pedo. Rich. This is why your brother is where he's at. Rich, let me, uh, and I'm going to just end it after this. Richard Autry. Your brother Rayshon Autry died a miserable death because y'all lied and y'all really try to portray something that I'm a pedophile, which I know I'm furthest, the furthest thing from. You will never have a happy fucking moment in your life the, 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 until you admit that that is cap. You can hate me all you fucking want. But as two black men, and you're a black guy and I'm a black guy, to spread some shit about, oh, a nigga's a pedophile when I'm not? This is the reason your brother's in the fucking dirt, and this is the reason why you'll never be fucking happy. You get me? And it's the reason why when you see me keep succeeding, it's going to burn your fucking soul, nigga. Okay? I'm glad one of y'all survive. Because they, listen, you ever heard, you, you ever watch the movies? Clap them all. Leave one person to tell the story. Because somebody got to witness what the fuck going on. And it's going to be you. Okay, Richard Autry? Yeah, to, to still be talking about and accusing me of being a pedophile is so fucking disgusting that if any disrespect I would give to you or your brother that's dead, I think it's warranted. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. I usually say, yo, once death is there, like, yo, leave it alone. But, bro, you still on Twitter talking about pedophile, bro? Your brother dead, nigga. Stop focusing on me, nigga. Keep doing your brand. I got, nigga, I got like 200 pictures of your brother in a casket, nigga. I'm not going to put that out. Just stop it, bro. Just stop it. And just stop lying on me. Stop lying on me, brother. You're just acting weird. You didn't even go to your own brother's funeral, bro. You was, you was hooked up to a fucking ventilator. You niggas been trying to besmirch and trying to disrespect and trying to, like, put out a narrative against my integrity. You're going to try to call academics a pedophile? Are you fucking dumb? But I would be wrong if I just start violating your brother, right? Because he's dead. I, I'll be really wrong, right? But you're here, we're both living, he's, he's passed away. We're both living, and you keep trying to disrespect me. So y'all tell me what I should do. This guy's brother died. They were both, by the way, his brother's last tweet was about me. He died. The nigga who's living, he, he survived COVID, or it's not even COVID, it's hatred, 19. And he still dissing me. But if I if I go at them the way they going at me, you know what they gonna say? I see people say lawyer up. What the fuck am I gonna get from college kid? College kid is broke. What the 
fuck am I going to get from a college kid? But, Grand Wizard, you are right. I should lower you up. The only reason I don't lower you up, lawyer up, and I'm going to talk about this. Um, you create a great segue. Thank you. Yo, I love, I love Grand Wizard. Because we're going to talk about uh, Tosh K, whatever, whatever. You know, there's some recent precedent about how you should deal with people who are lying on you. This tweet right here is a tweet that is definitely not only slanderous, defamatory, it's a lie. I could sue over this. By the way, just the same way I could sue when they gained, they illegally obtained a, a domain name based on a trademark that I own. I own DJ Academics. They 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 they, they registered djacademics.com. I could get at whatever the hosting company of that domain name and say, well, I own that trademark. Again, here's the thing. We're dealing with some bums who are not that successful. And I I'll actually, you know, transition because there's not much to talk about him. Um, I'll just finally say say this. Yo, Richard Austry, bro. I've dealt with losing a grandmother and I've dealt with losing an uncle. It was very hard. It was not fun. I still, to this day, even me talking about it now, I feel a certain type of way. You dealt with losing a brother. Bro, I'm not trying to, like, keep beefing with you this and third. Nor do I want to, like, poke fun at that type of situation. It's very serious. When people lose a loved one, you lose a brother, you lose a mother, a father. Bro, it's very serious. Bro, I was willing to let it go, and I'm still willing to let it go. But please just leave me alone. If you're going to push this narrative or push this, not even there, if you're going to push this lie, I'm. I, and by the way, y'all can title it off this. If you're going to push this lie, and try to associate me with being a pedophile, keep in mind, let me also tell you what the ramifications of that is. Spotify is not dropping because of what y'all said. They're not. So if you think you're going to, oh my God, Spotify is good. They're not. They love me. Spotify is like, Ack, you're the nigga. Ack, you're the best. Ack, we love you. They're not going to change because of you. But if you do want to continue down this route, of trying to push this narrative, which nobody who I do business with, with will care about. I, as a human being, will have to respond in the only way I know how to. Which, when people don't respect you, you have to meet disrespect with exponential disrespect. And I don't like disrespecting people who passed away. But the nigga who passed away used to disrespect me. And he's your brother. And your whole brand is built on disrespect. So, again, it's one of those things that I'm trying to, like, throw you the bone to be like, yo, let's ignore each other. We don't got to be friends. But if you really want to continue, and I see another tweet about pedo. Accusing me, your brother funeral pictures will be very much up on this fucking internet. You know why? Because I guess everybody needs to see it. What a fucking hater that's dead looks like. All right? Let me keep this shit moving, man. Anyway, he probably won't listen, so <laughs> fuck it. You know, you know how I go. Um, I do want to get to the Tasha Tasha Kate thing. Richard Richard Autry, sorry. We got you out of here a long time ago, man. You can't defeat academics. I'm sorry, man. All right. By the way, Rich, I got the pictures you never seen because you was in the hospital. I got it. Don't I? I don't know how y'all let them niggas get to the. I got it. Okay, we can talk, but you, won't, you probably want to talk, right? Gotcha. Anyways, uh, let's talk about Tasha K. 